Um, today's subject is Holy Spirit and Dementia. <clears throat> uh, until 1900, nobody, not nobody, but most people happy with two meals or three meals a day. Now what happened these days, like in America, <clears throat> so many people wanna do diet and wanna lose weight. This is a new phenomenon in 20th century now. Now, let me think about it a little bit more. <clears throat> Now, longevity is everybody want to. Most people want longevity, okay? And uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 to two, uh, 24, If you obey to parent, you will be prosperous in this world, and you are going to live a long life. But now, we heard many times that you know, even though the people who do not obey parents also enjoy the long life now. Now, long life is good, but think about it a little bit. Long life with good health and a little, you know, abundant money, suppose, that is wonderful. If I'm sick, I can go to the doctor, you know, I can get any kind of treatment I want to, but some people got a long life without any money, without much health, that's just a bad reason, and urinate on the bed, and you know, the bowel movement on the bed. Is this for blessed life or meaningful life? We could not say <clears throat> now just the longevity is good one or blessed one anymore because so many people suffer. Personally, I seen this kind of thing. <clears throat> no energy, could not walk, and uh, so uh, sometimes they uh, they gonna go to you know a bedroom, then or without any help at the night, nobody can help. Then you know uh, what they do is that you know they uh, crawl on the floor, and the while crawling on the floor, they could not hold. Uh, uh, could not hold, they just to make a diarrhea all over the places. Sometimes they could not hear. Somebody must you know, yell you know, to uh, you know patient because you could not understand. Sometimes could not see well. The science and uh, advanced medical field help a little bit, but not all of them either. Just living, uh, living longevity is not blessed one anymore. We have to think about this one now. This is an actual phenomenon we face. Now, we're talking about the real matter now. It's about uh, dementia. Alzheimer, or whatever it's called. And one time, uh, uh, a parent uh, bro uh, 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 brought in you know, uh, a father who was elder, and uh, um, this person was a Christian since uh, you know he was a kid because you know uh, uh, you know uh, grandparent is also you know, Christian. He was uh, according to the family, he was a 
filled with the Holy Spirit and recognized by you know, any mem- any fa- uh, you know, uh, family member and the church member and neighbors that he was a very, very faithful man. He got dementia now. So when I, you know, when I see him, I ask him, do you know who God is? I don't know. What about Jesus? Look at me. I don't know. What about Holy Spirit? I don't know. Now, this is a serious matter to Christian. <clears throat> now, the, one of the gift of Holy Spirit is you know, healing power. Gift of a uh, gift of healing. Now this person got the dementia, meaning that he could not heal himself. And it, now, even though the person who is filled in the Holy Spirit got the dementia, then they put, you know, in the doctrine said that person can be saved. Somebody say yes. Somebody may say, oh, we don't know. I think that we don't know that is maybe right answer. Now somebody may argue, oh, even though get you know uh, if you uh, if you get uh, you know filled in the Holy Spirit, then we may we may be uh, able to delay uh, dementia. No, that's not the answer for uh, you know gift of you know uh, Holy Spirit or filled with the Holy Spirit, because Holy Spirit is perfect. Why perfect cannot prevent dementia for Holy Spirit person? How can he answer this serious matter? Thank you so much for your watching.